Princess Anne will represent her mother, the Queen, at a major event in Australia in the coming weeks. It has been announced the Princess Royal, 71, will be the guest of honour at the Sydney Royal Easter Show in April. The event is hosted by the Royal Agricultural Society of NSW, a charity dedicated to celebrating agricultural excellence and rural resilience. In a statement, organisers of the event confirmed Anne was specifically coming to Australia in her role as patron of the Royal Agricultural Society of the Commonwealth. Her Royal Highness will open the 2022 Sydney Royal Easter Show where we celebrate our bicentenary. The Easter show spans 12 days and runs from April 8th to April 19th. The Sydney Royal Easter show made a comeback last year after the 2020 event was cancelled due to the pandemic. Last year, 800,000 people attended the event over the course of its tenure, breaking five attendance records since it moved to Sydney Olympic Park in 1998. The Queen is the only reigning monarch who has attended the show in the past. Her last visit came in 1970 when she was accompanied by her husband Philip, her eldest son Charles and Anne. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge also attended the show in 2014. The Queen's daughter also opened the Sydney Royal Show in 1988 and a day later, she visited the poultry and cat pavilions and judged Angora goats in a competition. In addition to being its patron, Anne also acts as president of the Royal Agricultural Society of the Commonwealth. The RASC connects agricultural shows from across the Commonwealth to share skills and knowledge. The RASC was founded in 1957 by Anne's late father, the Duke of Edinburgh, who held the position of the organization's president for 50 years. The Sydney Morning Herald reports that four representatives from Buckingham Palace are already in Sydney, looking for suitable locations and activities to add to Anne's itinerary. The Queen's daughter's visit down under could also see her touring parts of rural and regional New South Wales, in a boost for farming towns who have experienced the hardships in recent years, particularly due to the pandemic. A memorial service for Anne's father Prince Philip is being held at Westminster Abbey on March 29, so it's unlikely Anne's tour in Australia will begin before then. The Duke of Edinburgh's Thanksgiving service will be attended by family, friends, dignitaries and representatives. Rumours of Princess Anne's Australian tour first emerged in September last year, and her last visit to Australia was in 2006. However, the confirmation of her appearance comes while the Queen is recovering from COVID-19. On Wednesday evening, Her Majesty held her weekly telephone audience with the Prime Minister despite having the virus. It came after she had cancelled virtual audiences on Tuesday as she continued to suffer from mild cold-like symptoms. Royal watchers will take the Queen being well enough to speak to Boris Johnson as an encouraging sign. Buckingham Palace confirmed the Sovereign had tested positive for Covid on Sunday. In a statement, the Palace said the monarch would continue with light duties as she follows self-isolating guidelines.